What's up everyone? Welcome back to Rayman. I don't know why I said that with like such a huge sigh. There's nothing wrong. Let's play Rayman. So, in the last episode, if you remember correctly, uh... <coughs> oh, he explains this again? We don't need to see this again. Uh, so yeah, we went to the Cave of Bad Dreams, uh, cleared the shit out of the lums in that level, and now it's time to go through the second part of this place. This place is, if I f remember, it's fairly difficult to get all the lums, but we'll see how things go as we move along. What the hell just happened to the camera? Uh, so yeah, essentially, you gotta play through the first part of the level here. Uh, just like before, again, it's a good opportunity to miss anything, or not, <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant, to miss, to not miss, or pick up anything you missed, god, that couldn't have been more uh, convoluted, the way I said it, I think I picked everything up except for a single yellow lum, which I, for some reason, missed. But I'm gonna try to fix that. I think there might be some here as well. Yep, there is. See, this is tricky. They make you go to... Not make you go, but they tempt you with the HP on the other side. Oh, fuck. Okay. That had to be... That had to be a suicide. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, speaking of... I was streaming yesterday, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying this series a lot as well, actually. Um, this game is a lot of fun to play. It seems to be hitting the nostalgia... Fuck, whoa! Okay. I slid out on the racetrack. It seems to be hitting the nostalgia goggles or blindness or whatever for a lot of people. Including me. Listen, I'm not saying that negatively. Um, I am hella biased towards this game. Uh, for one reason or, or another, which I think I've explained. See, the thing is... I think a lot of people played Rayman. You know, if not the old ones, uh, the newer games were... Massively... Are you kidding me? That lum is, like, the perspective is fucked up or something, like, it seems like it's toward the right side, but it's not. These rockets are adorable, by the way. When I was a kid, I really wanted one of these. A walking shell. This was my shit. I was like, I hella want a walking shell, but you cannot get a... I wasn't even paying attention. God, I cannot believe this is... I'm not even drunk. Um, and this is... Apparently the most difficult lum in the game to get. Okay, just be careful. Okay. I'm not about to, like, lose all my HP here, believe me, but... We gotta get it. The... I didn't even know what the hell happened there. Okay, I swear this is the last attempt. Cool. And believe me, this isn't even, like, we're not even at the later stages where... Well, actually, getting the lumps doesn't really get too much difficult, much more difficult. Like, there's only so many ways you can come up with to hide lumps. And... You know, that's just it. Fuck, I'm gonna have to make this episode extra long, because I'm fucking around here a lot. I'm saying fuck a lot. Look at that timing, that's some like expert level timing. Okay, just be careful. I swear some of this has to do with my keyboard. Uh, this would be easier on a controller. But you legit cannot... Thank you. That wasn't so difficult. Okay. They know what's up. They give you back the HP. Um, anyways, once we're through here, I'm taking one more look, but I don't think I missed anything. There's a few more places left after the...
Clark area. That's what the home is called. Gonna give him the wheat potion. God, his eyes went crazy there. Yeah. What the hell? Did you see his eyes? Are you kidding me? I didn't. I never noticed that. Uh, that is the thing with this guy. He just smashes through shit. Uh, do they hide? I could almost imagine them hiding something here. But you know, like nice touch that the continuity makes sense. This is where we exited back into the overworld. It's pretty cool. They paid attention. Okay, we are going co-op, boys. Officially. We have a summon. Okay, I see. so I think the deal is you can boost yourself up from his back. That was kind of jank, but this is what you're supposed to do. And hit that. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Okay, let me just take a look. I'm suspicious. Got the camera. Getting back into any game that has like 90s camera can like really throw you off, you know? Alright, come on. But this is how we functioned, you know? Okay, I don't think there's anything here that I missed. Nice touch with the music. Got some funky guitars. Alright, let's go. I don't think he comes with us any further. Uh, what we got? We got stuff. First of all, we have one more shell section. I'm like super bad at... Why did I not hit that? Okay. Whoa, indeed. Okay, I think we need to, yeah. It's safer to do it this way. And I swear there's something else here. Yeah, I remember. I remember, I remember. Yep. There's a climbable wall. Man, it's funny how much I remember from this game. Uh, some of it I'm just like, oh yeah, there it is. Come on, shell. We have one more shell section. And this is the fucked up one. Uh, if I died on the previous one that much, I'm kind of dreading this one. Because this one is fucking crazy. You have these like... Giant ass. It's a cactus and that one just like straight off took off into space. Whoa, okay. Man, it's weird. Sometimes... It has to be due to the fact that I'm playing with a keyboard. I swear, I don't remember this being this difficult. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's really, really like f playing fucking, I don't know, Burnout or something. Or what is a game that has like really uh, janky car physics? I don't know. Haven't played a racing game in ages. Okay. Just... Subtle movements. That one straight up just like takes off into space. I'm telling you. Hold on. Where's the last cage? Uh Okay, we might have a problem on our hands. It even has like the little reins. Shit, where's the... Yeah, because this is how this level ends. Fuck. Um. Um, 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 um. I'm sure that's the... And the remaining lums are in the cage. Damn. Okay, I'm genuinely lost on this one. I might have to go back. I might have to go back. Fuck. All right. Oh, this stage. I, I didn't even like pre-explain this stage. 
This stage is fucking terrifying. When I was a kid, it was fucking terrifying. So you, ha you have this motherfucker of a spider. And it's gonna chase you. It's basically unkillable. And it's gonna chase you through this entire first section as I'm sure anybody who's Australian knows you know just how it is there um anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna oh shit it's quick too I need to get the lumps and I'm going down <laughs> I'm going down with down with the ship. So yeah, this. Oh wait, he doesn't have that much HP. Why did I remember him having more? He's fast as fuck, boy. Get the lump. Get the HP. Oh, you can't catch me, bitch. Yeah, and listen, I was a kid that did not like spiders. In fact, I'm still not a huge fan of spiders. But that was a section. Anyways. This level. You'll see what happens. This is a fun level. Um, the music, there's a part where the music goes absolutely insane, and it's awesome. That is one of my favorite... Uh, Rayman themes. Okay. We have the spy not the spider, the pirate to deal with. Listen, stunlock this little bitch. Cool. What does this say? Okay, there is imprisoned here is public enemy number two. His rain dance led to the rusting of several brave robo pirate comrades. And that is a glow box. How the fuck did he capture get captured again? I don't know. So he's our little buddy from the beginning. You know, we got separated. We rescued his ass. And now he's here. And this is... That's the rain dance. Gonna short circuit the shit. And yeah. Once again we have a co-op partner. An official co-op partner for this stage. Oh this is... this music... the music in this level is... so good. The glow box theme I guess. And like I said, the cool thing about the music in this game is, again, that it integrates the same melody into all the level music. Um, wait, how do you... Isn't this supposed to move? Um... Oops, I screwed up there. I am pretty sure this is supposed to move. Um, fucking moved. <laughs> okay, I missed. I missed the train. All right, I'm making an ass of myself. Wait for it to come back. Hopefully, it is gonna come back. I genuinely don't remember if it does come back. There it is. Um, there it is. Okay. Get them free lumps though. And of course, we gotta open our way for our bud. Damn the music. That like horn sound, it's a classic. It's like a classic sound effect. Womp womp, you know. Damn, it's gone. The theme stopped. How many cages are there in this game? 
Not game in this level. Not not a lot. Four. All right. Do your shit. And it starts back up whenever he does. <laughs> That's pretty good. So, anyways. Oh, but he runs away, you know. Whenever there is a pirate nearby. <laughs> we go to call him a bitch. Of course not. This game is too wholesome to do that. That would be funny though. What a bitch. We just said it. Oh, by the way, he has a power up. Yeah. He said thank you. Cool. Press space longer to make it shoot, make your shot stronger. It's exactly what we're gonna do. So we have a charge shot, uh, but the cooler part is: does it turn? Oh, we just get that for free. Oh yeah, because we have a quote-unquote boss fight on our hands in the form of a fucking pirate ship. Oh yeah, we have the gold shot. Wait, what's the deal here? Does the pirate ship... Yeah, it does. It dies in like one hit. Okay. So some of these pirates from now on are gonna get a little strong in terms of they have a shit ton of HP. But look at this charge shot. We're Thanos level now. Exterminating them pirates. Cool. All right, let's pick him up. So anyways, yeah, this is the, I think this is the final fist power up. It doesn't get much better than this. Come on, it doesn't always work. I forgot, can you not move when you're charging? Only to the side. No, I guess not. How am I doing on time? All right, we're still good. We have plenty. We have plenty of that. All right. Oh shit! Another one. I'm gonna charge shot this bitch. Thanos him out of existence. I don't know why I have Thanos on my mind. Wait, right, let me just grab the cage. I guess not. This <laughs> music is so sick. This level has, even though this is not my favorite level, because it's kind of short and all that, the visuals are kind of one note, that doesn't stop it from having probably the best music. Oh, come on, make me work for that cage. I think... Oh, wait, I remember. I remember, I remember. Shit. Okay, listen. You get what you need to do. Um, cool. Did I not hit it a single time? God damn it. So I swear you could destroy it from here. Am I being stupid? Might be being stupid. It doesn't home on or lock on or whatever. This game has an auto lock feature which could use some work. I'm only kidding. Oh, maybe from here. The vantage point, you know. I don't know why it does the music. Like. Make it seem like getting that lump is a bigger deal than it is. Maybe I just have a sharp eye. I swear, he's not locking on. 
All right, 90s platformer. Fuck, I forgot you could... I'm stupid. Never mind. Ignore my stupidity. Anyways, this is what you have to do. Let me break it down. That creates a bush. And with that... You can sneak in. Just a big nosed bush. Exactly. Like the real bush. Ha! Political joke. We got those. Hold up. Oh wait! Can't come with you, my darling Uglet wants to see me. I didn't know that had two lums added to it, that part, that last cage. Weird because these uh, teensy cages, it's the official term, do not usually have lums in them. Anyways, watch the boy fail at a bonus level again. God, I hate doing these. It doesn't work. Oh, fuck, I hate this. Oh, and this is the really lengthy one. This is like the shittiest. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no way in hell that's gonna... I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, yeah. Escape the shit out of here. I don't even know what these give you. Legit. Um, whatever. Oh, the whale bay. That's what we have next. Uh, we have... I think time, yeah. This is a decently long level. Multi-stage level. This is a cool one. This one has kind of a different feel to it than the other ones. You know, this hits different. And this is the first time you meet this enemy. Which has got to be the weirdest enemy in the entire game. Um, I don't know what they were smoking when they were coming up with this one. But this one, you can kill it really quickly. So anyways, if you haven't guessed uh, by the look of and the name of this place, we have officially arrived at the obligatory underwater level. And listen, anybody who has played 90s games knows the pain of underwater levels. And I'm going to be honest with you, this game ain't that much different. Uh, at least this level looks nice. I'm about to fucking drown. I swear there was air here. I drowned. Luckily I just material materialize. God. Okay. I'm suspicious of this place. That there's a secret here that I missed. It could be that there isn't, but... I certainly do feel like it. I guess not. So yeah. Again, obligatory water level. Um, but it's all good. There isn't another water level in this game, so... Come on, go, 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 go! Did I reach that or did I not? Anyways, yeah, we got the piranhas. We got a strafe. I forgot that strafing is the solution. Uh, this level I am like hella lost on in terms of lums. So the chances of us getting the 50 on here is a little bit slim. But yeah, anyways, what I was saying, or what I started to say, um, kind of hinted at, I'm back on the streaming grind. I'm off of work all next week, so I'm going to be hitting you guys up with the streams. Even though I am traveling on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, 
rest of the days, if not every day, I'm gonna try streaming a lot. Because as I explained, you know, it's not always intentional. You know, things have like quieted down at work. It's just the uh, it's the summer, man. It's too good. If you follow me on Instagram, Mr. Sketchhead, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead specifically, you saw that I was flexing my pool a little bit. And that's one of the reasons I'm streaming less. Okay, there's like some... Yeah, there it is. I knew I, I knew there was some trick here. So the reason is, you might be noticing there's like a suspicious lack of lums. And there is a reason for that. This is, again, an underwater level. So you can kind of imagine what's going to be happening. I heard a cage somewhere. Did I hear it incorrectly? <laughs> yeah, that's... I didn't show that, but that's what happens if you get crushed by a... Okay, there's hella cage here somewhere. Under here? No. I was gonna do a charge shot, but I'm an idiot. I mean, like, why does it why does it not charge? Thank fuck this game is easy. Otherwise, we'd be in like real shit. Mm hmm. This is another kind of trick thing, isn't it? If I remember correctly. There's a way to get up there. Thank you. Told you. They wouldn't leave you hanging. You know how this game is. Alright, here it comes. Not yet. Not yet. Carmen the Whale. Carmen San Diego. Yeah, we're gonna free Willy. That's what's gonna be happening. Yeah, there. This is kind of fucked up, actually. This I didn't come through as a kid. Um, that they are going to like harvest this whale and kill her. That's messed up. Okay, I think we gotta go through here. The music is nice. Again, I gotta admit that maybe this is again my nostalgia blindness speaking out of me. It's bursting forth. You know, to put it like that. But, you know, this doesn't... This isn't the worst underwater level, I think. Uh, Ocarina of Time Water Temple comes to mind as being a lot shittier. Look at him. Her? I don't know. Anyways, just to hammer home the mechanic... There's a walking shell here. I got them secrets locked down. Get on my level. Cool. Is there more? Okay. This seems like... I always have this nagging feeling that I missed something. And the reason I get that feeling is I'm pretty sure there was a way to climb up right next to this walking shell right here. Which I have a... Oh, fuck. Never mind. It's just the other side of this. Oh, it disappears. 
Wait, I never, re I never realized that actually. Uh, that it disappears. I don't even know what to say. That's pretty cool. Because really, you only need it up to the time you break this door. Because after that, it's like, you know, what's up? Anyways. So he, she, no, it's a she, right? She spawns these like different type of air bubbles. And you gotta hit them up. And that's how fuck it's draining quick. See, when I was a kid, I don't remember this draining this quickly. The air bubbles. I don't remember it being such a scramble, you know. Uh oh. Shit. Damn, that's like legit draining quicker than I remember. And now, of course, he has a shit ton of breath. Infinite breath. Oops. Man, this thing looks absolutely insane. Is there a way to boost yourself? Oh, shit. Fuck off, piranhas. And yeah, you better believe there are lumps down here, if I remember correctly. Okay, shit out an air bubble, please. Uh, fuck. Or are there lumps here? There are. There's one down here. Oh, damn. I legit thought there was something down here. Okay. Listen. I kind of just killed myself with drowning. By drowning. Um, never mind that. Give me them air bubbles. I think that's the one I missed. It's the one I, that got me into trouble. Are you seriously not gonna? Okay. This well is being a bitch. Okay. Give me the double whammy. Okay. Hit these ones up. Yeah, we got yellow lambs. Oh fuck, am I gonna make it? Barely. Ah, uh, there is something in this section. I swear, I I'm like ninety percent sure I missed some lumps uh, in the auto, uh, underwater part. It's like I'm almost a hundred percent sure because there's no way there is uh, twenty more lumps here. 21 and two cages there is a lot here if I remember correctly but not that many yeah there's no way I'm getting this seriously there we go I think it's in the mast of the... Yeah, it's down here. Well, actually, there might... It might be all here. If it is, I'm glad that they're not fucking me with the underwater section. It's very possible. It would be very much appreciated. Oh, one of these things. We had this enemy before, right? Oh, okay. So you have to get him to fall off. Yeah. 
He dead. Okay, this might actually be possible. Not might, definitely. Mm, I'm pretty sure there's some way to get to the other side of this and slide down. Or not? Or do you slide the other way? This is how you do this? I think... I think I'm like janking this. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I am... I am janking it. And don't take that the wrong way. Listen. In fact, yeah. Okay, I was just on the other side of this. I should have realized what's up. But hey, the fact that I... Oh, please tell me. Please tell me there's a lum in here. Oh, thank fuck for that. All right, let's go. Look at him like scuttling along. It's awesome. And he does like the half crossed eyebrows. Did you see that when he's dancing? Okay. I think we have a bonus stage on our hands. And I think. I think I'm gonna fail. Just think about how quick you have to do this. That I'm not even getting this, yeah, this is... This, you can't do any other button combination. It has to be left and right. God, I should get like a fucking weight on this or something. Where Where is a turbo controller when you need one? Uh, yeah. Shit happens. Um, Hall of Doors. In fact, with the Hall of Doors... It, all, it is also time to wrap up this episode. The this, this area, the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire. This is a complicated stage. In fact, it's probably the most complicated stage in the game. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the Men Here Hills. And we'll check out where I missed the single cage and the lums. And then we'll go to this place. This place, I like this level. This is a really good level, but it's a long one. So we'll tackle that in the next episode. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Rayman 2. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.